Shaber 1000 here. Today I'm standing beside the 1969 John boat. It's titled as a 14 foot. Uh, it doesn't give uh, it just you know it's a V-haul. It doesn't give what brand it is or anything like that. Now what I'm coming up with when I research this, the the closest thing I can come up with what it looks like to me is a sea nymph. And I've seen a lot of the sea nymphs around. I haven't seen a 69, but I've seen a lot of sea nymphs around and it kinda looks more like that than anything. Uh, the guy we bought it from, he was guessing it was um, like a Starcraft or something like that. But the back end of them looked a little different back in those years. But anyway, first thing we're gonna do is try to get this engine to fire. We'll see what's wrong with it. I know on the work order it said it didn't have spark. They cleaned the points and uh, that didn't help. So they put a, put a new set of points and condenser in. I believe this has two sets. So did they put one set in or two sets in? You saw what they did, that stupid wheel bearing over there, so. All right, guys. Let's get that checked out first before we do anything else to see what we're looking at. We're gonna probably check the trolling motor, make sure it works. So, we'll go from there. Sit tight, get you some cold drink, relax for a few minutes. Let's see what we can do with this old girl. Okay guys, also something I need to do is I need to uh, check this motor out a little bit more. Now I've seen a lot of them on YouTube and stuff that were 68s, which they're thinking that's what this is, but um, usually the 68s would have, this, this part right here would have an 18 on it, a big 1.8. So I'm going to have to run these numbers and see there's also little differences in them. This one's got three, three uh, things up here. One's a choke, one's a slow to lean, lean out your um, slow mixture, and one's a fast. Um, it, it uh, adjusts your uh, air fuel mixture for like a higher RPMs. Um, a lot of the smoke, well, all the 68s I seen on YouTube that were confirmed to 68 only had the choke and the slow speed mixture on it uh, out front here. So this one's got the high speed out here. So it may be a 63. I, I'm gonna get some un, get some numbers off here and check it out, and I'll let you know. But right down in here, right in this part right here, there should be a little thermostat in there. Now there was another guy that was uh, showing how to put a piss tube in here and bring it out. So there should be a thermostat right down in here. Now his was a 68. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what is going on here. And also it doesn't, it doesn't open wide open. So It'll get close, it'll get about three-fourths throttle and that's it. So I'll have to check that out. And this is pretty, 
pretty stiff here for some reason, so the throttle. But it does look like they may have put new plugs in it. And you really can't get them mixed up because this one says up right on it. Right there on that little tag. So the first thing we're going to do, I think, is we're going to check this thing for spark because it said it didn't have spark. Okay, now, whether they got spark after that, I don't know. Because he said that they told him it was running beautiful. It was running great. He took it out, put it on the water, and it wouldn't start. So what I'm guessing, since they was in there fiddling around with them points, I'm pretty sure it has dual points. Did they, did they adjust them both? Did they replace them both? Did they replace one set? I don't know. Um, it feels like it's got good compression. But anyway, it's going to tell us something when we pull these plugs out of here. So they are tight. So let me go get a wrench. We'll pull the plugs out. We'll check it for spark. Okay, these are 13 sixteenths. I'm just going to use a wrench. Well, they might. There they go. Just going to use a wrench so I don't break them as easy. Because these, uh, these boat motor spark plugs are a little different. No, I guess not. They used regular plugs in them, which I'm going to be changing that. I don't like the idea of these plugs in here. Um, usually, they're really weird looking to keep moisture off of them. Uh, that one looks a little fouled out. Looks a little fouled out. Um, well, let's pull it over and see. Okay, now I'm going to try to see if I can see any spark. Let's see, this is up. It could be something stupid, it could be something serious. That's kind of hard to do here, but. I'm not seeing any spark on that one. Let's try number two, or the down. Wish I had electric start. Sounds like it, but okay. This one has some spark because I just felt it, and I'm in the sunniest part of the day here. Okay, this one I'm feeling spark through here, so is it getting fuel? It looks like it is, there's fuel in there. And down here in Florida, you got three times a day. It's either ass busting hot, it's either raining, or it's dark. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to just stick this in here for right now. And I'm gonna go get my uh, spark tester and put on here, and maybe we'll see it a little bit better. Hang tight. Okay, as you can see, I got my tester on here. Now you know maybe it just didn't start, maybe it flooded it. I don't know, but. See, the problem is, it's 
kind of hard to pull that rope and look at that at the same time. We're looking for this to like lighten up, brighten up. And I can't see it lighten up. But it's dark there. It's, it's awful bright out here. Let's go ahead. Let's pull it over a couple times and see if we can get it to fire. If we can get it to fire, we will put it in some water. What they call a tank test. Oh, let's see that. Maybe I can do this without getting shocked. Let's see here. It's a very weak spark. Very weak. I can feel it. Let's just pull it over a couple times. And see, see if we can get it to fire. These are auto light plugs and I don't like them. I like the Bosch. I'm going to turn this over this way. Uh, make sure it's in neutral. Should be neutral. What are you guys looking at here? Yeah, you can see the motor, okay, I think. All right. All right, it's got some fuel. Could be flooded. That's fast. That's real slow. Let's shift. Let's go to start. Not fire, no. Alright. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off, the top of it off there, and I wanna check in points. We'll check the points. See why we're getting a as I can feel a spark, but it's not lighting my tester up and it's not sparking a plug. So let me go get some tools. Let's figure out what's going on with this thing. Okay guys. I went in to get some tools. As you can see, I don't have any tools out here. Well, that's because I realized. I didn't have the choke on so there's choke I got it on I got the throttle on to start let's see what happens
let's give it some maybe flooded now Let's get it in some water. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this for you again. I did it once, it didn't hit record. So, we're gonna be wanting to see water spit out of these, out of this hole right here, okay? So, let's see if it'll start. doesn't want to idle thing we need to do is this throttle is really it's really hard to uh, it's really hard to turn so I think I'm gonna take that apart and see what's going on with that Oil it up, whatever. See what's happening with that. So, what I'm going to do, guys, it's pretty hot out here. So, I'm going to grab a screwdriver. I'm going to take that screw out. See what, see if this comes off. I'm, I'm not sure I never had one of these ones off of here before. But it's really, it's really hard to turn. So, let me go grab a screwdriver, and I'm going to pull that screw out of there, and I'll get back with you because this camera is not liking heat. So, let me get that screw out of there, get that apart, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, guys, this is what I got here. This is part of the throttle. What I did was I started taking the handle apart all the way back through there, and everything was fine up until I got to this part which just goes up in here like this it hooks onto there and it's got a funny little clip and that's you know that it will operate the throttle through this it'll turn this and that opens and closes your throttle now I got to looking at this thing because I thought well it doesn't want to idle well that's because you couldn't turn it up because someone has broke the bolt off not just there but there too somehow so I thought well okay here's my culprit because this was real hard to turn with everything else unhooked it goes right in here like this and it was real hard to turn okay so what this does this piece goes on here like that And this piece was getting stuck down in there it didn't want to turn you can see how shiny that is there it was uh, binding up well I should just slide right up out of there of course it didn't I barely put any pressure on it and it broke so I got to go source one of these out I think that that's my idle issue it is pumping water so I gotta go see if I can find one of these uh, I ran them numbers the engine numbers are right there and that uh, that first number 18302L 
Okay, the 18 is how many horse it is. This is a 302L. It makes a 1963. So, let me go ahead and let's go see if we can find one of these on the internet. Because I doubt if I can find one around here. So let's go ahead and find one of these. Yeah, that was really... Wow, see how shiny that is. It was just binding up there. Alright, find one of these on the internet and I'll let you know what I found out. Okay guys, so this is what I got. Well, I just got tied up with my... <laughs> Shit. Hang on. Okay. Damn. Okay. This is what we got going on here. I got that broken bolt out of there. It was just plastic. Okay. So I found one that fits that. I've got one of these ordered. It was only 30 bucks. Okay. Now what I'm going to try, what I did was I drilled that out. Okay. And I stuck a bolt in there. This is the original thing. So we're going to take it out and try to put it on because I want to, I want to get that, get the carburetor adjusted the way it should be. And that, boy, that just fits in there just perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is get it on there enough to where I can, you know, at least run it and get the carburetor the way it should be. So I know that bolt's too long. I've got a shorter one over here. If that one's too long, I do have a shorter one that can go in there. So let's take this out. I'll throw it on and we'll see if it see if it's gonna work for us. Okay guys, I think I got it pretty close. It's still gonna be it's still gonna need adjusted when it's under a load, when it's in the water. But you can do that up here with these knobs here. I'll show you in a minute. So let's go ahead and start this up. getting there guys monkey's on her way back so let's go in the house cool down a little bit well first let me show you this is what I did there just stuck a bolt down in it that would work in a pinch it's working all right now I mean I wouldn't trust it to go on a trip with it but there's the controls I'm, I was telling you about Rich and lean, that's your, your fast, your high speed. This is your low speed. Rich and lean, here's your choke, and there's your kill switch. All right, let's go in the house, man. It's hot out here again. So there it is, guys. It's a runner. I I don't know if he wasn't, if he just didn't choke it and kept pumping the bulb, because if you pump them bulbs, um, if there's a float in them carburetors, if you pump them too much, It'll actually force the float down, you know, so it can get past the seat and it'll flood out. So maybe he did that and it wasn't choked. I don't know. I think maybe it was just flooded because I was going to go ahead and pull the flywheel off. I'm glad I didn't because it would have been a waste of time. I couldn't see a spark, but it was so bright out there. I couldn't see my tester lighting up. But again, it was so bright. Uh, when I go over the footage, I might see it, but... You know, you guys might have seen it better than me. But I can feel it. When I barely pulled it and touched it, I can feel it running through my arm. So I knew it had a good spark. And then I just got to thinking. I said, you know what? Let's try it. Let's choke it. So that's when we went back out and tried it with it choked and wide open. And uh, it started firing and then kicked over. I, I'd say he just had it flooded. So... So my part will be in next week. It'll be in next, um, da -da -da. 
Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. 15th-ish. 14th or 15th it should be in, so. And I'll get that put back on the way it's supposed to be. And that throttle will, will, will work nice and smooth. It's working pretty smooth now. But there's some movement in that gear, so it kind of, you know, like I said, I wouldn't trust it. Uh, if I went with one more size bigger bolt, it'd probably work. I could probably put a dowel rod in there. There's ways you can fix that stuff, but, you know, for 30 bucks, I just went ahead and bought a new one. And it is new, believe it or not. Uh, I went on one website, that was $128, but it was a marine website. So, I was like, no way, I ain't paying no more than 40 or 50 bucks. Uh, monkey just pulled in. So, I found that one for 30 free shipping, so it'll be here next week. So tomorrow, maybe we'll check out the trawling motor, make sure all the gear's working in. I think it's a five-speed. And um, I'll check on some hubs. They're usually 30 or 40 bucks a piece, so, you know, we're still under the four, 1400 Um you know, we got it for 1200 which we was prepared to pay the 1400 but so we're still under the price of what we was actually prepared to pay for the boat. Needs painted, you know, needs little stuff like that. But the main thing, we get the engine, all oh, the transmission does work. I did put it in forward and reverse, and the prop did spin both ways, and neutral works. And as you've seen, it's pissing water like it should. So, anyway, guys, monkey's here, so I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna say, Shea, I'm gonna say, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend, start her boat up for her so she can hear it run, she'll be happy. Thanks for watching, guys, appreciate it. And uh, we'll chat soon. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye bye, guys, take care.